Mm-hmm. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought we was finished. Beard Bros Productions, Crucis Edition, 2022. We back, baby. We're about to take over this city. Yes, sir. Like that video and subscribe. Subscribe. Welcome back to the Beard Bros Podcast. Oh, we got a good one for you guys. Before we get started, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, big shout out to our sponsor, Alpha Med Staff. They're a nursing agency. They're going to be helping nurses that would like to grow in income or as a nurse independently, be able to travel more. Um, Their link is in the description. Go visit their website. Ask for David specifically. Uh, Tell them that the Beard Bros sent you. They will help you. Again, grow as a, an independent nurse. Uh, he's been in the field for, I believe he said, like 10 years. And so he knows the whole medical industry. Um, link with them. Thank you again, David and Alpha Med Staff for the sponsor. I want to introduce our guest. It would technically be our third time, but we'll get into that and you'll understand. What's going on, Claudia? How are you? Hey, guys. My name is Claudia. Um, for the third time, <laughs> for like 50 I'm originally from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I currently live in Roswell, and uh, yesterday I came by to have you know the big birthday celebration for one of my aunts, and I decided to stop by and you know come shoot some shit with these guys. Yeah, so she she, <laughs> I had asked her previously to come on. It's been a while. She hit me up and said she wanted to try something new, something out of her comfort zone. So she thought coming onto the podcast would be one of those things that would get her probably in the right direction of where she's trying to go. I have um, to move, bro. <laughs> and so what ended, I'm going to just quickly break this down in short summary, and then we'll go into further details. Demon. Yesterday she came by, and we were recording, obviously, one camera on her, a camera on us, and for whatever reason... The camera was my phone, and it all of a sudden stopped recording, and none of the footage is there. Just my footage. (laughs) Let's get this. Well, yeah, just the camera that was focused on her. (laughs) And then, so we started over, completely all over. Then my phone did it again, twice. And then I thought, okay, my phone's messed up, plus it died. So then we tried my brother's phone. And for whatever reason, his phone that was, again, focused on her, all of a sudden malfunctioned. Didn't know any rhyme or reason really why yet. Just a little piss, you know. I was like, damn, we just did that for nothing, you know. Yeah, we recorded literally two other podcasts. The only thing I believe that's definitively concrete that we have that's probably worth putting out there is the audio. Um, I haven't reviewed the full audio because, it, again, it's like two hours worth of audio. If you guys would be interested in that, <laughs> drop a comment and let us know because this story is going to get juicy. And I think you'd be in- – the conversations was great. It had nothing to do with what we're going to talk about today. But maybe there's something there that we don't know for sure. So, Claudia, something you forgot to mention <laughs> in the three hours we hung out. The last what? 10 minutes of the hangout was cool because, you know, we got... <laughs> yeah, the one part we didn't get on. We figured over. out why. We kind of figured out what was going on. Explain that's what. That's your theory. That's y'all's theory. That's not necessarily <laughs> our theory. I mean, that's kind of what happened. Okay, so it's... it. I don't know if that's what happened. Just tell us what's been going on. <clears throat> tell us... Run us back a little while. So, um... This kind of started back in, I'm going to say, November, October. Okay. Um, so, how they say that three, what, what is the saying you said earlier? If something bad or good happens, it comes in threes. Exactly. So, it all started when that happened to me. Um, in November, uh, my birthday was October 8th, 18th. Uh, okay. Two days later, my grandmother passed away. She okay. got COVID. She was exposed to it. She got... Um, she was over COVID and she ended up in the hospital. She was recovering and unfortunately she had post COVID, which was, um, she ended up getting, uh, blood clots in her lungs. Okay. So obviously that is terminal. Um, so she passed away on the 20th of October. Um, shortly after November 1st, I 
me and my ex broke up and December 10th my great grandmother passed away which was my grandma's mom okay. and we were all you know fairly close so ever since those three things three things had happened I've had things happen to me that I can't explain and I've looked into it because it's happened so frequently okay. that even I'm like like they say I'm <coughs> shook I, I was shook <laughs> <laughs> the word that you know people nowadays use okay. the kids so the kids. so the first thing that I had been I mean I'm living now at my grandma's house because I can't move to my trailer it needs to be fixed okay. living in my grandma's house it's a different feeling just because you know it's empty I was I was there by myself my son and my mom ended up leaving to Miami Florida they leave for a whole month well, this time my mom was obviously depressed because of everything going on. So they ended up leaving it a month and a half early. So I was at this house by myself. Okay. Um, and I was, you know, I've been seeing random numbers everywhere. They're 111-222-333-888-1212. I mean, stuff like that, that you don't really think about it until you you're like repetitively in random places it's not just like oh well i'm gonna keep seeing it in one place because it's there but it's just like I go to work and i see the number and i'm like that's weird go to work and i see a number somewhere else and it's the same number and i'm like i thought i just saw that number this place so in my mind i'm like i'm just you know overthinking things you know whatever i started again going through tiktok and tiktok and tiktok and i'm I'm at a point where I'm depressed, obviously. A lot of shit has been going on. And I am scrolling through TikTok. I'm just trying to find some funny memes, whatever. And I come across, like, tarot readings. I had never gone through stuff like that. Tarot readings, tarot readings. And there's a lot of these. And I don't really care for them, so I would scroll through them. But there was a couple of them that would catch my eye. And I would listen. I'm like... What 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 could hurt? You know why why not listen? So I listened to these to these uh, tarot readings, and they would like kind of fit to what's going on in my life. And I'm like, what the hell? Like it's a coincidence. I would keep con you know keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Somebody a different tarot reading, and it's almost the same thing but a little bit different. And it kept going on like that and going on like that. And I'm like, what the hell? Like. That's that's weird, but I'm like whatever. I I honestly never believe in that stuff, never. <clears throat> but now, since my grandma passed away, like things have been changing, or things have. Sh I feel like sh it's shifted. Something is going on. Something's following me because I always feel. I feel different when it comes to, you know, sitting down with you guys here. The energy is different compared to somewhere else where I'm used to being like all the time like if I were to go to a friend's house and I've been there so many times before and I would feel comfortable being there and I would party and whatever that changed for me like I, I'm not a party person anymore because I don't I, the energy is different so I feel like I'm being shifted in a different direction and I whatever one night or one morning, it was a morning, I left my phone charging. I went to the, to go bring my dogs inside. I fed my dogs. I went to go, you know, make myself something to eat. I, by the time I was eating, I hear something in the background. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? And I obviously stopped chewing because I can't hear because I'm chewing. And I stopped to listen and it's just a female's voice. And it's a video, I guess, that's gone on repeat, 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 repeat. And I was like, okay, whatever, it's my phone. It turned on, whatever. It happens. Well, when I go, finally finish eating, I go to my phone. It's still playing. I go to see the message. It's on TikTok. And it's just some random lady. And the message that it said, I swear to God. Like, it, I felt like. I was being told this particular message for me from my grandmother but to me it's like ah, like I maybe it's not my grandma maybe it's just it was a coincidence whatever 
So I was just like, you know, cool. I let it go. Um, I went to Miami, Florida. My mom was like, hey, I have a video to show you. And I was like, okay. My aunt and her were talking about it. And they're like, something is following you. And I was like, like, why would you say that? And my mom's like, hey, well, it's my, your aunt is saying it's your, it's our mom. Our mom is protecting you. Which and I was like, grandma. yeah. And I was like, like, why would they say that? They finally showed me the video and it's me. Like I'm rushing into my mom's house. Like I normally do. I don't care. She has a camera just for, you know, when people come up. Um, so it's a detective camera. So when people come up or you pull up, you up, you pull up, you know, it's going to detect you. And once it finds no movement, it turns off. So I was coming up and I open the door, I go inside and like a couple seconds after you see something come at the camera. Yeah, we seen the video <laughs> she showed us last night. I don't maybe you guys can put this up after, Yeah, yeah, so. you can send that to us and I'll when you're explaining it I'll put that right here and you'll see it full screen. So I ex whenever my mom showed me that video I was like, "Look, something just happened to me a couple days ago." Like I can't explain it. I left my phone charging, and this is this this is what it sent me. I sent her the message. She was like, "That's your grandma talking to you." And for me, like when I saw that video, I literally my heart sunk. But it wasn't an at ease feeling. Like it wasn't like a oh shit. Like it was like a a peaceful feeling. Like yeah. so, and things continue to happen to me throughout the throughout the day throughout the night throughout the you know it crows i've been seeing crows like crazy who the hell even bothers to think about crows like they're crows do yeah. you like crows <laughs> i mean i don't have a problem with them i never really cared like i i kind of like birds so i guess crows would fall into that i mean crows for me i never really cared like it was never like something that oh look there's a crow older oh, like now I see them so often. So let me ask you this before you go further into detail. I know you mentioned this at the beginning that you were seeing numbers and patterns and things that seemed out of the ordinary for your your everyday, you know, mm -hmm. occurrence or whatever. But you don't like you don't think that something since all this has been brought up now that you're you know whatever you think you know or you've seen or witnessed or heard or whatever that maybe you're almost in your own head or do you genuinely think i'm just don't get mad at me i'm no, just no, no. I'm asking like because it's I, a legit question though. because i know whenever you're like <laughs> you you seek something like like remember the time whenever i was like oh i want a tundra or i don't know what it was it was, I, it was something or when you buy a new car, I'm sure we've all bought cars, and you buy that car, and then you see that car, like, everywhere. everywhere. Yes. Okay, so yes. that's kind of where I'm going with this, is, like, you, you, you're you seeing things, and you're like, dang, I'm seeing this. And then now, all of a sudden, because it's in your mind, you're like, dang, I'm seeing this, but it's only because you've seen it exactly. once and twice, like you, and now it's... Seen. Now it's like a... It, you're more focused on that one thing. Yes. And yes, I, I have, I'm like, I'm driving myself crazy. I really am. I like, don't know, bro. Cause last night we were dropping her off. <laughs> Hold on, we haven't got to that. Far. <laughs> I'm saying, but I'm just saying, like that's the weird part where you're saying she, she just happened. Okay, so let's go into <coughs> that then. Let's go into that so people can get a perspective. And explain. <clears throat> What do you mean? Oh, the part? Yeah. Oh, yeah, go well, ahead. Well, okay, we drop her off. At, we had to drop her off. We're taking her. We're taking her there. She's explaining to us. I got a video. We're not watching the video because she's showing the directions where to take her. So we get there. She's like, let me show you. She shows us the TikTok of the lady explaining that. Which was playing repetitively while she was eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. She shows us the video of the, the little super gremlin popping up out of nowhere. Video <laughs> the her. ghost. The ghost. I don't Potential know. ghost. I, I don't, yeah, it looked funny. Whatever it yeah, is. It was strange. So the, they started having a... I lost the conversation. This point. <laughs> the I like, freaked out. My, I have goosebumps. You were looking for something on TikTok I was to looking, show us. Yeah, oh, yeah, you were waiting, waiting for a video to load or something. And these sons of bitches... Oh, he just wanted to get to this part. <laughs> yells... 
<laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? So I look up and there's a black cat. And I'm like, okay, that so was he's random. really bad at telling stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I, I, I always quiet. Look, I don't understand. <laughs> I was Hold on, to y'all. because I, I was, she had she had brought up the crow thing and she brought up the cat black thing. Black cats. Yes, and she was mm-hmm. talking about how these numbers and the cats and the crows and the TikTok and terror reading and all this stuff had come up. So then she had brought all this stuff up and I know we all watch each other's snaps, which I knew she was coming. So I had looked at her snap earlier in the day and I had seen, she had like a stack of cards in her lap, I guess on the way here. And all I could see was the stack and then one face card facing up and it was a, uh, ace of spades mm-hmm. so i just got curious and i had asked her about it so she starts telling us about you know the tiktok stuff and then she you know reverts back to well why'd you ask me about the cards like and i was just like well in reference to everything that's going on i thought maybe it had something to do with all the rest of the stuff and it literally <laughs> as literally i'm not even kidding as soon as she asked me and maybe it was a coincidence but she asked me, why did you ask me about the cards? And I'm in the middle of trying to explain that. All of a sudden, this fucking black cat walks. Like, we're in the parking lot, in the, and the door's right there. We're blocking traffic. And the light, there's no traffic. <laughs> and the lights are on facing this way. The cat could have gone anywhere. But that cat decided to walk in that exact moment of talking about the cards and stuff. Walks right in front of the car. And we're like, what? It like, had not even been 10 minutes since that I had let you guys know yes, that I had been black cats It could have been any other color of a exactly. cat. But she had specifically said black cat. And mm-hmm. then the black cat, and you know how cats are. They're weird. They're, this cat was like looking at us. I don't think that they get into it. But yes, it was weird. So we, we yelled, what the fuck is that? And this one wasn't paying attention. So we startled him. We gave him, him. a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I wasn't really listening to them because they were having their own little conversation about it. And I was trying to pull up a video. And then this little fucking scream loud as fuck. <laughs> but it was weird. Well, the, I mean, the cat because... was just walking. It was all staring at us. I'm like, hey, hey. How was that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that was a part of kind of where... And we're going to get further into it, but... That's somewhat of what happened. Because, okay. That's only a lick of what you guys saw that I experienced. I experienced oh, yeah. things like this every day. See, and this is kind of where this whole day, like, goes circle. Because we didn't know this. <laughs> we did not know this. So, whenever we were sitting here filming, we I had my phone on her, <coughs> camera on us. I didn't think nothing of it other than my phone was acting weird. His phone was acting weird. And our phones have had bad service since we moved to Cruces. So I was thinking, I don't know. Just they enough. got hot too, right? His Both got hot they? really. Yeah, well, mine ended up dying. And so, like, yeah, it was strange at first. Like, it was like, well, that's never happened except really one other time. But we could actually explain what happened there. Yeah. This time... It was odd because it was like... I have a ring in my ear right now. I get that a lot. Don't that, people say yeah. that someone's talking about you? It, it, it can be, yes. But it also means... To what, what I've looked into is that means that your spirits are trying to communicate with you. Well, if y'all are here, there's these mics right here. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! You, hold on. you, you can't just die you can't this. Speak hold on! Into them. Hold on! You can't just do that. You can't just welcome <laughs> Don't some... be invited to Yeah, don't in. welcome anything. You can come. We don't know. I don't care. No, you're not They're supposed gonna to do They're going to pull your legs at, at night. Yeah. Just... Tickle my toes. I don't, give a fuck. I don't <laughs> believe in this shit. Okay, that's so, not. I don't believe either, but that's actually not the way you're supposed to yeah, go. Yeah, no, don't speak in my mic then. Because if it's scared. because if if it's not good, good speech, you're asking for trouble. You're inviting. Come yeah, yeah. Hit, it's like care. it's like <laughs> even though I believe in God, if I'm gonna sit here and tempt the devil, then that's not. That's on me. That's like See, you and, can't and, do that. And I grew up. As a Catholic, so I believe in God, and that none of this I'm stuff, the this spiritual thing, <laughs> we're checking on the cameras now. <laughs> the whole spiritual things, the tarot readings, the the um, 
uh, there's another one, the pendulum. I don't know if you heard of pendulum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where like you grab like a necklace with the rock, yeah, whatever, and, then you do and the thing. no, you don't move it. Oh, and it, it moves stays on its own? and it moves back and forth. It sways depending on what you ask it. It's a yes no question. Oh, okay. And then a maybe in the middle, and if it stays in the middle, it's obviously maybe yes or no. It's up and down or whatever, whatever way. I didn't believe in none of that stuff. I haven't tried the pendulum, Nothing. and I don't. I'm like I kind of don't want to because for me, I as a Catholic and what I was you know, taught, that is of, not the the devil, but it's of, it, it's uh, brujeria, what they call it, or what we call it. Okay. So it's, it's like witchcraft. Right, it is considered witchcraft. <laughs> Plus you're opening the door for potential bad. Yes. Like if you don't know what you're doing, don't, that's why they say people end up like possessed. Now, I don't believe it per se, I don't know, but the rumor has it is, when you do those kind of things unknowingly, like you're not knowledgeable, that's when you're affected the most because you're not sure what, you don't know what you're potentially dealing with. Now, yes, don't get me wrong, I don't I don't believe in it, but what was strange is both our phones messed up. And that's one thing, okay, yeah, it's a phone, whatever. They mess up all the time. I'm not here to discredit that. But this was the weird part. I hadn't thought about it until you had brought it up last night. We were sitting there in the car talking about all this, and we were reviewing the footage and kind of going over what just happened. How did the conversation even start? Was it because of the cameras? And I was like, oh, well, I've been having some weird things. Yeah, I don't I, remember. I that's no, was, because right? I was like, well, what were you wanting to talk about? That's what happened. Because you said that on the conversations that we had, mm -hmm. that wasn't even what you thought about talking about. Yeah. You were like, oh, there's other stuff that I've been going through and all this other stuff. That's what kind of, and you're like, I'm going to show you this video when we get there and stuff. And okay, then, yes. And then, so anyway, so we're sitting there talking and she's like, you know what's weird is it was just the camera focused on me. And I, I started thinking about it and, and our camera, the main camera we use was on us. It not once messed up yesterday. But the phone, my phone, that's one thing. But then his phone to start messing <laughs> up too. It allowed him to film and then it stopped. And then film for a few seconds, and then a few minutes, and then a few oh, seconds. Oh, that's right. It was like, stopping it. It was like on and on. Yeah, it was like on. pressing record and stop by itself. He'd be like, okay, it's off. Hold up. Yeah, then, like. He, that was like a repetitive thing. Like, it was very times. odd, but we hadn't known until she mentioned all this, and then she said, well, it was just my camera. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay. Plus, one of his videos at the end it records probably what? How long? Two minutes. It was like 2.20. It was like, okay, over two minutes or two minutes exactly whatever. It continues to record, but all of a sudden it free frame, uh, freeze frames and it goes black, right? No, no volume. Nothing. No, no, audio, no audio. No audio. No picture. No nothing. But just... at the bottom of the screen on iPhones, I don't know if it's yeah, on Androids too, but there's like this little film of yes. everything. It shows, it still shows the bottom and it continues me talking and moving and doing all these things. But on the top where the main picture is supposed to be, it's gone. Like it's just a black screen, no video, no audio, like they said, nothing. And the <laughs> first video that we had filmed, uh, it's just white screen. Oh yeah, so my phone recorded, I think it was like 30 something minutes of We footage. had a whole... Ass podcast. Yeah, we had <laughs> everything was fine, and then I don't know what made me think of it, but I was like, "Hey, make sure that camera's recording," because it was sitting next to him. Which the we've actually, I'll tell you that in a minute. So he checks it, and I think you said it was <coughs> it was recording because like whenever you record, you have the little red. It record. had the red bar. So then all of a sudden, it starts malfunctioning. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's just not recording. So I tried to do it, and it's like, oh fuck, it's not letting me record. It wasn't letting him record, so I go back. And I still have it. It shows the picture. It shows the square. And I can click on it. And it even says I can press play. But it has no audio. It don't even give me the audio option. It has it grayed out. And then there's nothing. I can't even, like, it. I press play and it just stops. You could probably show it at the end of the podcast, right? Well, that's what I'm hoping that whoever's still intrigued into this, if you guys want, I can put the audio. I can put all the footage out completely raw. 
and you guys dissect it however you want to. Take that's it a, how you please. Yes, if you believe like, or I not. Don't, if you believe or not, that's up to you. Um, but I don't know. It's just kind of it, it. This was all strange. Yeah. So tell us more. Tell us what else has been going on. How are you reciprocating this? Is this is it new to you? Do you what do you think? What do you make of it all? What's going on? It definitely is new. Um, I feel like my senses have heightened. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, you can hear so, so far away. Well, not exactly like that, but so there's another scenario yesterday when we were driving <laughs> over here. <laughs> Listen, you besides the A, um, the what? The A. The A. The ace, oh, the A. The ace. Oh, okay, the Ace. I think you said the A. So, oh yeah, so, tell us about the color thing. The purple yellow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna come to that. Okay, Hold on. okay. That that's that's gonna be after this. Really? So be, the this colors. This is what she was talking about last night. So like I said, so I've been having a lot of weird things happen. I mean, dreams, repetitive numbers, certain animals, certain things. Um, sunflowers have been a big thing. Okay. Sunflowers. It's cold. There's no sunflowers right, anywhere. True. But I've been seeing sunflowers everywhere I go, and. You sure um, they're not daisies? No. You can't sunflower. really, like, how do you mistake daisies for know. sunflowers? Isn't, it, isn't there a daisy that looks like a sunflower, but it's just small and looks like a weed? We're going to have to look into that. Because I guarantee I don't you. Think Google so. it right now. But, yes. yeah, go ahead. And Put so, yellow daisy. So, <clears throat> this was when, like, stuff was already happening, and I'm like, you know what? It's not going to hurt for me to just be like, if this is really for me, like, if I, this is the path I'm supposed to take, Send me a sign. Send me sunflowers. Told you. Oh yes, but sunflowers are big. They're huge. They're yeah, huge. but I don't know. And they Maybe have you like the black that. center. Yeah, this one does. So, yeah, but I mean, sunflowers have the little pel, the little. No, I know. We so, don't have to go into yeah, the anatomy the of a daisy. So, so I, I was like, whatever, you know, why not try it? I said, if you are really, if this is for me, send me a sign. I want to see sunflowers. Like you said, is it maybe just because I'm more con cautious about it? Ca oh, no, you're cautious. Definitely. Cautious about it, and I'm seeing it more. But really, like sunflowers, do you, is that something so that then, you would like? So I'm not saying test it now, but what I would suggest is instead of asking something specific, just ask for something in general. And have maybe. you done that? Maybe. So like, no. like say. Cause you're you're like I said, it's sometimes subconsciously mm -hmm. we know like like I could sit here and say I want to go to the school right now, and if I don't bump into one person, you know, mm -hmm. at all, and I'm I I'm gonna give myself like an hour, you know, I'm gonna walk to the to the library and then just to my car, and I'm gonna sit in the library. And go to my car. And if nobody, I see nobody like there anywhere, then subconsciously I know maybe there's a chance because it's Sunday, school's not, right, school's Sunday. out. So the chances of me not seeing really anybody are kind of high. Okay. So, so, so I have been asking like different random things, like, you know, signs. Okay. And okay, so yesterday while we were driving over here, I was literally like, I have two stacks of cards. We play cards a lot as a family. Okay. So I was literally like messing with these cards. I was just playing with them, whatever. I hear sirens. Okay. And I turn around and I'm like looking around and I don't see a cop. I don't see an ambulance. Okay. And my mom looks at me and her husband, they're like, like, like looking at me like what? And I was like, I heard a siren. Like there's no cops around in those. I was like, whatever. Not even five minutes later, there is a cop with lights on so you can't pulling somebody over. <laughs> no, like, hey, I, don't, I don't think that's I what it is. Did I just see something? It's, Wee, it's, it's, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> so it's like, I heard it, but it was only like a, so like a ringing in the ear type hearing. Okay. You just had that. What did you hear it when it was ringing just now? It was just a, a, a zzz, that's it. Oh, okay. But but I, I get those a lot. I've been getting those a lot too. 
You could be losing your hearing. Maybe. No, I, I actually that. went barely like a year, not even a year ago, to go get my ears checked. Okay. And I'm perfectly fine. We learned about menopause. And... Mofo, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So, yeah, so I was like, that was random. Whatever. Cool. I continue with this, you know, and I'm kind of like also like on TikTok, just like going through whatever, listening to, you know, and kind of like glancing at it. And I came across a reading. It was the weirdest reading because everything that it was saying about me and the relationship relationship I was just in it was spot on like every fucking detail okay. I was like whatever I looked down at the screen because I was just listening at, at it at that point I looked down at the screen and there this lady had post like literally had had a list of random things okay. and I look at this list I have it hold on oh, oh shit you're over here breaking things now I have this list. This is the list. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, you, you do that. It doesn't matter. I don't need to be in the frame. So. Should I pull up a tarot on, uh, no. <laughs> this is the list that I, I wrote it down just in case because I saved the video. I went back and looked at it and it's gone. The, the reading that I saved is gone. Okay. This is, it says Paramore only exception. That's a song. Obviously, you can look it up. And I actually like this song. I enjoy it. I was like, cool, whatever. The next one is yes. I don't know what the hell that means okay. yet. Yellow and purple. Okay. Yellow and purple can mean nothing to anybody. For me... I mean, it means the Lakers to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, <clears throat> I've been having the weirdest dreams. Okay. So what I have been doing is I have been writing them down. If I remember, I'll wake up in the middle of the night, half asleep, and I'm over there like writing what I remember down. Yellow and purple are two colors that I recently had a dream of. Recently had a dream of. Okay. When I get home, I will take a picture of my book that I've been literally saving these freaking dreams, and I will send it to you guys. Okay. The next one is divine timing. I don't know what that means either. It's this and then right now. Black, <laughs> black silver car. He has a black car. I have a silver car. Okay. The next one is blue car. His first vehicle is a blue truck that is still sitting in his it's in the barn now. Okay. Red is my favorite color. Okay. Purple is his favorite color. Uh, the next one is marriage. We had talked about getting marriage or getting married, sorry. And sex energy. Obviously, we we had really great sex. So, okay. so <laughs> for all of that to come about and then like those specific things, like to me it was just like. Okay, so I'm going out on a huge limb and I'm going to pray as I'll pray right now on this podcast because I I'm not saying anything bad, no, but I I just kind of I don't know why this popped in my head. So you said, and I don't believe in this. This is not my beliefs. These are your beliefs. You said I don't the, believe it okay, either. <laughs> okay, but hold on. You said the three thing. That's how we started this conversation. You said three's coming good, three's coming bad. Okay, and okay. There's a part that she hasn't talked about. But, okay, what did I, I know about? this is kind of weird. Oh, this is just strange. So there's a part she didn't mention. Just mention this and I'll come back to this. Tell us about your house and the footsteps thing. Oh, okay. Tell me that part really quick. Um, and then tell me about the part of you seeing it, the TikTok that said, wait, wait, uh, listen. Yeah. Okay, tell that me that. Was, that was so, um, I have been living at my grandma's house and it obviously is a little weird different living there um not too long ago it was it has been windy so i'm like oh whatever this house is older it creaks it's a little trailer so with the wind it moves it starts making noises whatever 
So I was, you know, I was like, oh, in the middle of the night, I hear footsteps. And I was like, my uncle comes and goes from Mexico. So I'm like, oh, maybe it was my uncle, you know. And then I start hearing, like, the doorknobs move. And I was like, maybe it's him. So I start, hey, Theo, Theo, are you home? No response. I was like, oh, whatever. He'll fall asleep, whatever. I wake up the next day. He's gone. He's not there. He's still in Mexico. Because I had just called him a couple days ago about, you know, hey, things need to be paid. What are we going to do? He's like, oh, well, I'm still in Mexico. I was like, oh, cool. You know, so that's not weird at all. I've been hearing doors, like the knobs. I've been hearing footsteps. And obviously, compared to a manly footsteps to a female's footsteps, it's it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you can tell, like, it's the mass of it going down. You can tell it's a man. I was going through TikTok once again, whatever. We have a lot of free time at work, so I'm on TikTok cool. a lot. We're not here to judge <laughs> So, I had a random reading. I don't read through all of them, like I said. But I had one that was like, wait, 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 wait. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's listen. I'm just here to tell you that there is a male in your house telling me that he's the one opening or messing with doors, making noises. And that was the end of it. Like, that was the end of the TikTok. I was like, whoa, wait, whoa, <laughs> okay, like, that's going to make me feel better okay. because I, you know, I have some random person, random female guy or male guy walking around the house. Male guy. And then, male guy, sorry, <laughs> some, you know, or entity or whatever the hell it is. Walking and this TikTok is only telling me that it's him that's messing with all this okay. things. And that's the end of it. Like. Give me more confirmation. Like, who is this okay, person? Okay, so this is, this, is, this is how this comes full circle. And I am I am really just pulling strings right now because I'm not <laughs> sure. But okay, you told me that your grandma passed away, your great-grandma passed away, mm -hmm. okay? And that in the middle of all of this, you got broken up with and everything mm -hmm. else, right? And then I don't know if there's too much of a... How can I put it? Maybe I am reaching here. But there's not too much of a like correlation with the everything that's going on, but the male presence kind of stood out to me because of what you you showed us on that book just now, with the colors and all the things about your ex, okay? And I don't know good or bad, but what if all of this is to do with him? What if you're supposed to like help him or do something for him or? I don't know, maybe one day reconcile for him. Because what if he... Because he is a cop. And this is kind of where the audio would come in play. Because we talk about a lot of that stuff and how he's changed shifts. And you were worried mm -hmm. about him being in that shift and all this other stuff. I'm just kind of putting it together. Because you put... You made that list. Or you didn't make the list. But the list was presented to you in that TikTok. And it seemed to reference back to him. And then you mentioned the male thing. Which... I don't know, maybe if you hear footsteps... In the middle of the night? In the middle of the him. night, it's <laughs> not necessarily him, but what if it's, like, like future him? Or did he, like, lose anybody in, like, recent, like, a father or uncle See, or brother? in that TikTok is the only thing that it says that he has recently lost someone that made him realize that he was the one that was wrong. But I haven't, I, I'm, I don't like to ask questions. I don't like to be like, hey, like, what are you doing? What's going on? Anything new? Um, the only thing I do know is that he recently, he is an uncle again. Um, but that's, that's as far as it goes. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't necessarily talk about us anymore. Mm -hmm. It's more of just like, hey, Jaden this, you know, because he still wants to be involved in my son's life. And my son still wants to be involved in his life. And just certain little things here and there. I haven't really asked him. And I, and I don't want to ask him either. Like, hey, did somebody uh, recently yeah. pass away? Yeah. Like, But if... I don't know. Because we were talking about this last night, too. About, like, you have your goals. Like, mm -hmm. if you listen... If you guys want this other podcast or audio, whatever, you'll get a reference to what we're talking about. Um, but 
basically she was mentioning how she wanted to pursue a different career and all this other stuff. Nonetheless, though, we were talking about like maybe this is pulling you in another direction because this is what you're supposed to be doing. And when I seen this, like that just I don't know I don't know why, but it really popped to me about like maybe you're supposed to I don't know. I don't know nothing about this stuff, but in my perspective, I feel like you're supposed to help him. Yeah, I mean, there was a TV show back in the day of the love of my life, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, she was like a se- surrogate, surgeon. I think oh yeah, that, a surrogate. Yeah, she Mother? Was, like no, like she was like for the like the the ghost. So like sometimes it wasn't directly for you. She would help like other people help people like go on. To oh, like world. a medium. Yeah. So I guess that's what it was called. But yeah, she would do that and then help the people that are. She'll see the dead people, and then. I had a dream about that recently that I was helping people out with something like that. I don't know because I guess to me it's like that's a sign. Like it obviously it points at him. You know? Yeah, it's like that's a, a that's that... a long list of like connection to him. Right. Now if it was about someone else, say it was about I don't know, whoever else, like your brother or uncle right. or you know, someone else then yeah, that would be different. But because it was so in depth with, yes. with what was going on, and, and I'm maybe I, like again, I'm, maybe I'm pulling strings here because that that's the only thing. But I don't know. I felt like yesterday we kind of talked not necessarily about him, but in the realm of him, mm-hmm. and then it ended on this, and now it's on that again a little bit. And then the the guy in your house, however that works, yeah, that was I don't know. I'm, I mean. To me, I would kind of think, like, maybe what if he's in danger or something? And see, the first thing that popped into my head after hearing these footsteps is call him. Stay on the phone with him until you find out what's if, if it's your uncle or not. But I didn't because I was like, we're broken up. I don't want to just bother him to bother him. It was in the middle of the night. He now recently switch to day shifts so okay. i'm like i'm not gonna wake this guy up just because i hear noises like what, right am i supposed to depend on him every time i hear noises like right right no i get that part so then how about this when you hear the footsteps i'm sure you've been with him and lived with him long enough that you could probably tell his foot pattern i mean you kind of have the cop instinct i would say listen to him carefully and see if 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 it were to be him so I, as far as like, <laughs> hey, bro, I mean, I don't know. Like, that's the kind of thing you have to pay. It. I mean, I don't want to put that in here. That's fucked. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not scared, though. Like, that's I, what I'm saying. It's a familiar kind of feeling. See? Yes. You can at, call him in, bro. That's no, not like, <laughs> just because it's her, not us. I know. It ain't going to happen to you. It's going to happen to me. Like, just because it's good to her, don't mean it's going to be good to us. That's why we got to go investigate your bad. Wait, wait, what? Where Sorry, I'm like no, trying to... You're... My mom's texting me, so I'm like... They already called me two times. Why? Do you need to go? No, 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 no. They're just asking if uh, I have my son's phone. Oh, but, okay. Um, so, yeah, you want to go investigate at my... Yeah, so text her back to say whether or not you have it or not. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... I don't know. I want to know more. Oh, I want to know more just to kind of... I don't know. See what potentially could be. I'm not trying to stir anything up. Obviously, I'm not a professional, but I think I, at least from my my way of learning, I think I could go into an investigation and probably it's do. All YouTube guys. That's hey, bro, about. that's if you need to learn how to put a door on the hinges, that's you true. can learn it on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> like I'm just saying, I could probably direct us somewhat in the right direction now. I don't know, man. Like, okay, so, so... As far as this goes, how we were... I was, like, watching this TikTok, and then after I was like, well, I'm going to write this down just in case. Okay. Just in case it erased. It erased. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, weirdly enough, she tried to show me the TikTok, and it wasn't there. It was gone. So, I was like I said, I had this deck of cards in my hand. I was, you know, going, I was like, I was like, all right, Cool. If this is, if this tarot reading is for me, this is my sign, throw me a card. Throw me an A. Okay. I was playing with these cards, playing with these cards, playing with the card. One card fell out. I grab it, 
flip it over, and it's an ace. It's two decks of cards. Okay. It's 52 cards in each deck. Right. You have eight A's. Right. Is it a coincidence, or what the fuck? You should get a lottery ticket at that point. I should! I should! Be like, and I recently, I had a dream about numbers. I have three numbers. Don't give them out. No, I'm not. I should. I'm not gonna give them out. <laughs> she was about to give them out. Like, don't do that shit. But but those numbers also that I oh, dreamt that's of. Be, I, I those are, get out of here. The numbers. the numbers that I dreamt of have also been included in everything else that I have been witnessing. And do those numbers mean anything to you? Outside of you actually googling or researching yourself, do they play a significant role in your life? In any type of way. Is it someone's birthday? Is it someone? No. So when it comes down to me seeing these numbers, I'm already thinking of something and what that something is. So one day I was driving to work and they sent us over to West Campus. Um, driving to West Campus. I have had this job for over two years. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. I seen one 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 because that's the the highway number. Mile marker. Mile mark. No, it wasn't the mile marker. It was like the highway number. Oh okay. I had never seen that in my life before. But see, it's that been moment there that, forever. the moment that I see exactly, but I never paid attention to it until. But that's what I'm talking <coughs> about. Recently. What do they call that? They call it a. Uh, yes. uh, there's like a term for it. Anyways, keep going. I'll think about it. So. I saw that number and what I had actually was thinking about that day was my grandmother. So when I see these numbers, it's not like just, I, I don't feel like it's coincidence because something else comes from behind it. Like, like I said, last night mm -hmm. I was talking to my aunt. We were already, she was already, we were getting ready to, to go to bed, blah, 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 this and that. I, we were talking about the repetitive numbers. Okay. Um, I saw 11-11 last night. Okay. Before... No, no, no. I'm sorry. It was um, one eleven. I took a screenshot of that because I was like, I woke up. What a coincidence to this. And I saw the time and I was like, hmm, 11-11, like, or, you know, what? Like, how? How? Like, out of all the numbers, I, I wake up to that. Took a screenshot of it, so you guys believe me. Not even five minutes later, I, it, yeah, I nothing. It I had nothing 16. in my. I didn't have anything in my head. I didn't have like I wasn't thinking of anything in particular. But my aunt was turning off all the lights in the house. Okay. There was one light that caught my eye because I was facing this way. I caught my eye. There was a little. She had a little light in the corner of the room, of the living room, because I slept in the living room. It was a rock that was lit up. Okay. Tell me why my grandma has the exact same light at her house. It's a rock. And it was lit. Instantly, I thought about my but, grandma. But what's the, what, what do you mean? Same I, I feel like it's just... What do you mean the same, though? Where, where, she has where, the, same, the same... So your aunt and your grandma have the same the rock same light? The same rock light. I mean, that's, they're and sisters, they, aren't they? No, no, no. Oh. My, my aunt is through my grandpa's side. Oh, which okay. is my grandma's uh, ex-husband. Oh, uh, okay. And then my grandma. They were really good friends. And I asked her, I was like, hey, my grandma has one just like that. She's like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I gave it to your grandma. But what a coincidence that that's what caught my eye. And 11, uh, 1-11 had just popped up on my phone. So it's like, it's, it, and it's little things like that, 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 like I said, it scares me. But at the same time, I'm like, it's a sign. I'm supposed to be here. Because I told you guys that too. Last night when I, we were talking, I was like, yeah, I don't, mean? I feel, <laughs> I feel like things happen for a reason. Maybe all of that and the cameras messing up was not a coincidence for me to talk to you guys about it. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to think of it right. For me, it's intriguing because I'm truly interested in this kind of stuff like to me it's just interesting i like this because i don't believe in it yeah. so being a skeptic so it, it almost seems like 
the if impossible you, is possible, like, but it's still see. impossible. Let's, let's, exactly. Okay. But for you, like, what do you make of it? Like, I, I know you keep saying, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not scared. But, I mean, it is a little frightening and stuff like that. She's crazy. Like, if you could sum it, it up. It doesn't happen to you. It happens to me. What if you, you could sum it up in, like, the shortest amount, like, a couple of sentences, what are you making of, like, the dreams, the coincidences of animals, numbers, you know, what you're seeing, what you're, the cards, the the signs, the, the house, everything put together. Sum it up in like two sentences. What is it that you think is going on? Honestly, I, I think I'm being guided. Okay. Like and by, a, like an by angel? showing me signs, I feel like I'm going in the right direction or that's where I'm supposed to be. So you feel at least positive about I, it. I feel positive about okay, it. I don't that's feel fair. any type of negative way about it. I mean, like, I do get scared just because it's like, what the hell? Like, what a, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. Well, but it's all new to you All these coincidences still. are, like, popping up. Like After a while, it stops becoming coincidences yeah, and like starting, like, maybe this is part of my life. Yeah, like, maybe this is right. Like, maybe I'm supposed to pick up on this. So, like I said, I recently had a dream about me helping people... By kind of like a medium type, but not in that way. So it was it was a weird, really weird dream to have. Like I like I said, I've had very very weird dreams, but this one for some reason stood out to me. Right. And I, with my coincidences, I'm like I don't know. I honestly sometimes I think I drive myself crazy. No, I wouldn't say crazy, but again, it kind of it kind of reverts back to what I had said. Like once you start seeing things, you kind of manifest it to happen in general. Manifestation has come up a lot. But that's kind of the that's what manifestation is. Is mm-hmm. like you start to think something, and that thing like it's it's good and bad. Like Let's you can sit there and be like, money coming in. <laughs> well, yeah, but you could. That's the thing. People do it for good and bad, and it's not like it's a magic trick, but it's. <laughs> A lot of people use it in the sense of like like a goal-driven way. Like if I say I'm going to do this and I do it and do it and do it and I'm trying and I'm working but that's my goal and I keep repeating it, mm-hmm. eventually you're going to get to that point like I've got there. I'm there now. Yeah. Or even in the negative terms, it's like people are like, oh, I'm never going to have this or I'm not going to find a relationship and they keep thinking that then that's, that's, con- that's, that's that manifestation. Yeah, exactly. Um, my advice to you, though, because this, to me, this is, would be the best way to really hone in on it, and it's only thanks to Stats 20, 222. Uh, anyways, um, because of this, all it is is uh, you're being given, uh, what can I say, like, um, what am I looking for? Like, uh... Gosh, what is the... Basically, you're being given information, okay? Yeah. So every time something happens, there's there it subsides to another conclusion. So you see 111, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, what comes to your mind right then and then? Boom. I would say carry a small little like notepad that's like yay big and a little bitty pencil. I can even give you the pencil. And just do it every pencil. time something <laughs> comes up, mm-hmm. like number-wise, crow-wise, cat-wise, whatever, anything... Take that split sef- second and write it down and kind of detail it because then you you have like a reference of like, okay, I seen, you know, on Tuesday, two cats. They both start with T and blah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, no, I don't know, right, but though. you see what I'm going I mean, with this? it makes sense because I've been doing that, like I said, um, while I, like when I wake up and, and I remember my dreams because my dreams have been livid, but I do forget. So I'm like, I don't want to forget these dreams. Right, and write the date weird, down. It's different and... certain things. Like I said, for all, that list of things that I wrote down and that that lady wrote down on the tarot, like those all could be just like, oh, you know, random things for people. Mm-hmm. For me, they weren't random because what a coincidence that I had a dream of these two numbers and those two colors. And yes... They're random, but all these other ones, like, make sense. What if, what if she would have, uh, this would have been crazy if you would have paid that, 
Because once you start making it a habit, mm -hmm. that's what it becomes. And it just, it's like anything else. You start doing something consistently, it just comes natural. It would have been crazy at that moment when you're shuffling the cards and you had 104 cards in that deck, right? Oh, because, be okay. Fuck you, make money. <laughs> but anyways, you're fucking... Haters. You're, 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 you're not the haters. So you fucking are shuffling these cards. That one card drops. You flip the card. It's an ace. And what time is it? 104. 104 cards. I did not think about that. Because around that time, what you couldn't even check what time it was. Let because me, you uh, That's a good question. That's a good... Hold on. It's what almost at that it? time. But uh, I'm just curious because those little details are going to end up being the thing that tells you the most about what's really going on. Who do you think it is? That's what the question is. That's the. That, you think it's Betty White? You've you asked. <laughs> I would love that, Betty White to be. That honest. is the right question, Heck but yes. it's not because it's a male. No. Oh, that's that's fucked up. Betty White can't have <laughs> Well, she's. I, it she, was, I was told but, by a, oh, by a TikTok that it was. A but that's what I'm saying. A TikTok. It, uh, it already it, erased. Let me see if I saved it. Hopefully, I saved it. But look, she she already had that. Then this little TikTok showed her about the male thing because it referenced her her ex, and then even she thought it was a male because she thought it was her uncle. I'm sorry, whoever I said to come in. If it's a male, I don't want to <laughs> tip on my toes now. <laughs> That'd be kind of awkward. Ooh, I mean, it's it was 11:37. 11:37, so not quite that number. No. So, but I'm saying like. In no, order to right, really like get down to the nitty gritty, it's going to take some actual, how passionate are you about it? Is it just going to be, eh, I don't really care, but if something happens, cool. Or are you enough invested that it's happening enough that you're like, you know what? I I'm do, really looking into I, it. I'm I really want to see know. what's going on. Be and I, and that's why I have, like, I honestly have, that's why, like, I'm like, it kind of goes against my religion, kind of, sort of speak. I feel like it does. But then again, you hear these tarot readers that say, oh, you know, pray with me first and then let's get these readings out. So then I'm like, okay, so if they believe in God and they're doing tarot readings, then I should be okay, you know? Like maybe it's not such a I mean, a bad it doesn't day. have to make sense to everyone, it just has to make sense to, to you. you. Exactly. Ever had no. I want. Mm -hmm. They freaked the fuck out of me because it was like a duck and it was, it's a death on the bottom and it. I have it in my phone still. What? Right? A yeah. duck and a death? It says duck. It was like a duck, but it was like a skeleton of the duck, and then underneath it said death. So like, death, but death doesn't always it, mean... But death yeah. necessarily does not oh, mean... Oh, this shit's weird. I, no, just, it I told her to stop. I was like, no, you no it doesn't mean death, right, though. Said, no. said, just There's stop. other cards that... She's like, no, I have to keep going, and it's going to... Like, so you send, me, send me that reading, and I, I want to kind of look into it, because necessarily when you see death, it doesn't necessarily mean that... It could be like a death of... Or an ending of something like yeah. for me it was like said, it says death on the, the end of the relationship <laughs> that I had that I, I can't was right. in. I, I have it still to this day. I, I always yeah, always. I don't know. I would I would just I don't know. It's up to you. No, obviously. no, no. I really I I think I I kind of want to investigate. Yeah, this. I mean like, a lot of people might think I'm crazy for doing it, but I honestly to the point in my life where I'm like I don't care what people think. But that's I, what I, I was telling to. you last night is. It's not so much that I think I think differently than a lot of people and because I'm the outcaster of a lot of, you know, popular belief yeah. that I'm, I look crazy and stuff. Like even just being that person that doesn't drink after drinking like his entire life, people probably think of me like a phony. Yeah. They're like, oh, this or, was fake. He's all, oh, glitter. he loves God now. Ha ha. He's fake. He don't, you know, the yeah, things no, he no, used no, to yeah. do. It's like. Yeah, okay, but people bro, you're being judgmental. So, but nobody <laughs> makes. <laughs> but it makes sense though. Like people change throughout the years, and I feel like this part of my life, I am definitely changing in a different perspective. Like a lot of things. Like I said, I've been very sensitive to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Um, like I feel sometimes like I I could like somebody like when they go behind you and they're like tapping, tapping on you. you like certain things like that like i feel like somebody's touching me and i'm like but no one's there there's nobody there huh. or just, like i'll hear weird. something like the sirens right and all of a sudden sirens are coming five. and it was not even five minutes i kid you not and i was like 
hmm, maybe it was our sign for us to slow down so we don't get a ticket, you know? I don't know, maybe. And then, like I said, so in like a lot of foods too, they make me sick. And I, I eat. But see, that I would be all those things, in, like starting now, would be things to write down. Like, yeah. hey, I ate I never broccoli about that, and cheese. It got idea. me sick. I got whatever, whatever. It did Send that this. to me. Send it to me. Yeah. I want to see. And so, yeah, I don't know. It just, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I think, like, I want to go investigate your grandma's pad. Now, again, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be. I don't know anything. But I think I know enough what to do to prevent, like, it latching on to us as well as stirring up anything negative. Right. I don't think I'm that amateurish that <laughs> I, it would happen. I mean, then again, maybe it will, but I guess it's just a chance you have to take. Right. So Let's do it. I'm down with it. If you guys want to, again, we're about to sign off, but if you guys want us to investigate her grandma's house, let us know. I think we're going to do it anyways, <laughs> but I just want to see if anybody would be... Oh, you also mentioned um, uh, last night that I should start recording myself at night because I've been waking up at a certain time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I've been waking up from 2.30 to 3.30. Did you do it? No, I, I oh, obviously okay. not. Yes, right, right. But, but maybe when I'm at, you know, at home. It's just worth the chance to see if something does manifest itself within your presence yeah. of, of during that nighttime. And I don't know. I just think it's important to do do your due <laughs> diligence before you jump to conclusions. Yeah. Like, make sure you're on. Because then, again, maybe you start writing all this shit down. And, and it starts making sense. Or it doesn't. Or it just goes away and they're like, Dennis, she's invested too much. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes. She's, she's requiring. Sometimes when you go that. into depth and you're just like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And then you start actually reviewing your notes and you're like, you know what? Maybe it was me just feeding myself. Maybe. I'm not saying that's what's right. going to happen, but maybe you start seeing that. Or the reverse happens and you're like, bro, this fucking lines up too good. Yeah. Like, was it Cousin Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. know who it could be. So, and, and the thing is, too, that um, I've also, like, back, like before um, I started getting all this, there were certain little things, too, that people would be like, are you a witch? Like... I would get really bad gut feelings, and every time I had a bad gut feeling, something bad always happened. The last really bad gut feeling I had, it was when I was with Brandon, but I don't remember what it was, and something bad happened. And I, yes, that's why, like, every time, every time I have this really uneasy, bad gut feeling, I'm always calling family. Um, Mom, are you okay? You know, is my son with you when she, when he is with her? Um, you know, everybody doing good. She's like, yeah, yeah, why, why, why? I had a gut, very, really bad gut feeling. And, you know, I'm calling his mom. Oh, the last time that I had a really bad gut feeling, um, it was, there was a shooting, I guess, at Walmart. Or the, it wasn't at Walmart, but it was by Walmart. And right. he made it a big deal. So that was when I had that really bad gut feeling. So, and then the time before that, it was a couple years back. And my grandmother, my great grandmother, got really, really, really sick. So I'm like, uh, you know, maybe it's just, you know, I don't know. I it was just a coincidence that I, I felt like a, that. It's a good sign that she has a good feeling when we go over there not to do it, you know. If she has that feeling, yeah, if she has that feeling. We're like, man, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you have any feeling. No, I, like I said, like I haven't been feeling anything <laughs> negative. I I feel negative towards certain people. I feel their negativity. But I feel I that mean, too, and I'm there. not... <laughs> Keep pushing my buttons. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it, it, this is... I don't know. I'm interested already. Like, you had me yesterday with the cameras. When you started telling me all this, I was like, son of a bitch. You had me with the cat. <laughs> and and earlier today, okay. I took a picture because I opened up my phone so once me. again, and I was... Here it is. What time is that? One eleven. Yeah. But it's right cool. at that time, I took this picture. How'd you take one eleven if it's one? What the hell? You went to Texas? Oh, that was the time I woke up last night. This is one. This is earlier. Earlier today. This morning. Why'd you take eleven that eleven. Okay. That's the first thing that popped up on my TikTok. 
What is it? That's the cat from last night. It's a black cat. Oh, I was reading it's the caption. It's a black cat. I'm a fuck. No. I was reading the caption when you were deep thinking. Like, okay, what's that? Dude? So how? What a coincidence that it's 11:11 and there's a black cat on my screen. That's what I'm saying. There's got to be some type of correlation with it all. Maybe, maybe not. We're gonna find out, guys. Is cat your favorite animal? No, I I, I was allergic. always allergic. To cat. Yeah. I hated cats. That hated also that. is in. In part the last one. Podcast. I might have to watch part one. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we're gonna we're gonna leave you with that cliffhanger of a story. I mean, there's probably more we can go into, but uh, that's again the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, we're gonna I've keep gone we're gonna keep on this story mm-hmm. for a while, mm-hmm. and I hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast. Thank you for coming and sharing that. Thank I don't know if that was easy guys. or not, but maybe the third time was easier than the last two times. I think so. And uh, <laughs> we'll probably release that audio sometime during the week. Um, I don't know. But the first two were pretty good. They were good. It was good content and conversation. It had nothing to do with any yeah, of, this, none of this. But what I'm saying is I'll release all that footage and you take the time to review it, see if you find anything, anything interesting, send it back. Screenshot it. Let us know in the comments. Just so he hears like a hello in the background. That's what I'm saying. If y'all hear anything, let us know. That'd be... That'd be... I'd show up that. It'd be kind of weird, so, huh? I'm hoping there's something on there. That'd be crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, like the video. Subscribe. Uh, we're probably going to go ghost hunting soon. So, uh... Let's do can't this. wait to do that. <laughs> Till next time with the Beer Bros. Peace. Bye, guys. Dang. I think it actually worked. I hope so. That was awesome. Now watch.